Here we go, July 14, 2023. Maybe this background seems familiar to you. I'm in a friend's house. I arrived here in 20th of January, 2020, waiting for the New World Order, the New World with Southern and Pluto indication by astrology to get and change our life. I was preparing people for this. I was prepared for this and did a radical change moving from the Northern Hemisphere, usually I was between Spain and Israel, and went the farthest I could to Argentina that actually flipped positively my destiny and of others. So I decided to record this video back here. Let's have a quick look for what I recorded three years and a half ago when I arrived here. January 20. 6, 2020. How are you all? January is a new world order. It's a life changer. And it's not just a new year. This is a new cycle. And it's very much giving worries, thoughts, and wonders. Months ago, I spoke that one of the options, more than natural disasters, changes, that this could be something like epidemia. In March 2020, Saturn is moving to Aquarius. Regulation is about to increase, and we saw it in different policies. And when it's going to enter to Aquarius, and just a few months after meeting with, with Pluto, it's about controlling people, and blocking of people. 2007-8, Pluto entered to Capricorn, and that's what started last economic crisis and Pluto has a mission. Pluto will not finish a sign of Capricorn regulation, governments and all the system that we calling corrupt before ending the sign of Capricorn officially end in 2023. And here we are back. I just arrived two days ago to Buenos Aires directly from Tel Aviv, waiting for doing a closure when Pluto is ending the last degrees of Capricorn, waiting for a new life story and so many things to contemplate on this closure. Being here is a very interesting. I'm going to discuss about the energies that we are having. It's all about change and it's also a good change, okay? Even that in the beginning, it looks like very bad. We hate change. So Jupiter is in Taurus giving us a sort of stability and strength and economic strength. And we're seeing the markets are growing and people are doing money. It's a very good time for Sagittarius people, for ascendant Sagittarius that actually benefited from the position of Jupiter. It's going to be a bit challenging next year with Jupiter in uh, Gemini, but it's still very interesting. It's challenging to most people with technology and information. But Jupiter in Cancer in 2025 is very good for being the guide for those that left behind. What is happening now is very exciting. It feels like a big debt. You're going to remove a mortgage, you know, like a big baggage from your bank. Things that you needed to pay and work through. And it's mostly worked on the concept of relationships and business. Friends, a relationship by all kind. And uh, money, economic situation, the business ones. No meaning that one is going to have the same lesson from the 2009 all the way. It's coming through the growth and through the sweat. But we are entering to a new era from next year. I discussed already in the previous video. Maybe you will see it after this because I just came from a park recording video. There's are more, a lot of stories and a lot of changes happening um, and news that I would not be able to cover all of them. I'm uh, sharing with my paid members exclusive contents on a weekly basis. So all, I'm always there. I'm always present. Yeah, people that waiting to see my contents, always new content in YouTube, can get disappointed specifically that I'm not speaking on what gives money to people. And it did a lot of play in 2020, 2021. And people found me already in not easy timing in 2018 and in 2019. What is happening? Just coming to record this video, I'm reading about illness and disease issue in Southern Europe, which is very expected. 
I always laughing because before coming to Argentina, I thought oh, I should stop in Madrid. I should stop in Seville maybe, which is very hot. I'm just thinking about the weather. It's like 45 Celsius. It's just like crazy. And I even just, when I flew back to visit my family last month, I stopped over in Madrid. I felt very low vibe. I, Madrid was one of my favorite city, but I felt very, very dense and negative vibration. I even could feel it on the, on the psyche of people. This is a real call, at least to start looking forward. I, I'm not expecting that everybody was will look forward already with all flights retrograde. But as I've said, it's like a train. The, uh, the innovative and the young start to push the train and most people will get it later. But it is about moving out from the big cities. Yes, the cities are good and giving us a sense of a, of a vibe and of a being connected to people, uh, business, coffee, you know, sex, availability. Everybody are close in Tinder, right? But it's illusion. It's illusion because it's not going to be any more serving and the new conscious of humanity. So it's not just COVID that was the real uh, motive uh, that people went out where less police and now more people start traveling and remote to the working and understanding the concept of digital money. You don't need to be close to the bank. You, you don't need even to have a, a bank account to just get paid and uh, spending and buy and convert in places crypto to, to money and, and moving around. And those are so many ways for people waking up to the opportunities that are coming and uh, when the fiat money and the regular lifestyle is get depressed and become more limited by what it buys you and with what it offers even i'm seeing this through airbnb journeys when i'm traveling and suddenly for the last two years for the last year and a half uh, since the COVID uh, removed restrictions, more people started removing. A lot of Americans going to Mexico and going to other places and agreeing to pay more dollars. And you start seeing that the advantage that saw before become be a sort of a disadvantage. But this is in case that we are going to popular places. But this is the time to start discovering new places, places that will be far and with opportunity and mostly weather-wise. So indeed, I'm here in the winter. I see it as advantage coming against the stream, against where everybody are going to Mykonos or to Rhodes or to Italy or to Spain, even Portugal. I don't see the advantage in those places, even that considered to be advanced uh, by the infrastructure and the money wise or the less crime to people because it's so much uh, regulated and secure which is not Jupiter in Taurus is also reminding us to increase the security in yourself. You know, if you are, if you are secure and not just illusionary secure, nothing really bad will come to you. If you know, to protect and you are aware with your senses and it takes some time to strengthen your strength and your senses and to feel safe in the Amazon forest, to feel safe in the pavelas in a way. Of course, you don't need to go directly to the extreme murders in front of you, but you know, you could not protect from every snake or from every mosquito. Those are legitimate uh, challenges and risk in life. However, I'm just reading that this is a um, alert in Southern uh, Europe is going to be affected weather-wise more extremely people in more areas in the northern side of the world in the next month, specifically when Mercury is in Leo, that is increasing the heat. But generally speaking, we are speaking about Jupiter moving in the next two years to the sign of Gemini, what will increase the climate change and phenomenons that will force immigration because of very dry areas that become wet and very wet places that become dry. And all those things were changing era, era of Aquarius. And if you are familiar with the flat earth theory, you understand that this is not a melt of ice because that's what is happening in there. And the marble, blue marble is melting. It's like a shift. Some places, it's, it's like the center of the fridge is changing and one place is get melted and other places get frozen because we are changing the center. What was before the Greenland and change the position of the pole. 
This is what is happening. So where we are insisting to maintain the status quo of where is the pole, of where is the center and all this, and that's what Venus retrograde near Leo, which is the center is telling us, you are actually delusion and you are expected to fall because you are believing that the things continue in the same structure. And it's not just you, it's also structures, government or a regulation of things or and following a old rules because of how they operated, actually ready for decline. Now, as I said in the previous video or the next video that you're going to see, I was preparing with all this channel and promoting the crypto revolution for people coming out from not just the old paradigm about money, but from the restrictive system that is robbing us and forcing us to pay for uh, social security and for health thing when they are poisoning us and they are earning from sick people and they will create more pandemics in order if, if possible to earn your money. It's not about you being healthy, free and uh, rich. This is the opposite of how the old system, draconian system is working. So coming back to nature, to your own nature, leaving the status quo of what, how we considered it so far and uh, having the addiction for sugar and for the coffee shops in the way it's actually killing you is the way out for freedom and happiness. And we are going to find new solution for even social security. And this is a very needed uh, startups and solutions that socially we are going to and need to offer to society, first of all, education about health. This is basic because our nutrition is our medicine. The food you eat is not just about not being hungry or being hungry. It's about being healthy. The alcohol culture is problem by itself. The marijuana culture is a problem by itself and maintaining the status quo of the medicine and the pharmaceutical industry as this social security taxation and robbery to keep you in the same status quo mm -hmm. slave of a very ugly system. So we are going to be needed developing new insurance concept for what so-called the nomad daily insurance, those people that are not living as me in one country, it would be amazing to think about. Uh, health insurance in crypto, working on the blockchain, and uh, it will work uh, globally and will connect with private clinics around the world or in specific places that will be outside of the urban areas. Uh, it will be good to think and even not to be needed that much the health insurance because people will be healthy with the right education. The next months with all planets retrograde taking us to a new phase to start from 2024 seems to be very faded. Venus will retrograde on Leo, in Leo, on the sun, in exactly with as the Leo season is starting and it's creating drama. And this is not surprising that we are seeing the Hollywood, which is represented by Leo and Pluto is going to oppose the Leo. And this is no Hollywood actors anymore, even that we are seeing that the entire media is based on Hollywood and what they sold us and everything that they are selling you, what you need to follow because the celeb is saying, all this celeb is by people will be here with AI, Hollywood's actors by themselves. We all actors, we all uh, center, but Venus retrograde will change the focus of what is important and we we are called to really embrace the real importance of nature, the real importance of love and to things that we even forgot because we are multidimensional beings stuck in an animal body that's called human that needs to manage here between our animalistic nature and our divine nature that generates energy. There were so much uh, great resets in humanity we can doubt how those buildings were built a few centuries ago when people had no internet and others. So much technology and knowledge forgotten. The library of Alexandria was burned. There's so much knowledge was gone, but we are thinking that we are smart right now. Astrology is a supreme indication to understand the cycle of life 
and how to get aligned with the brain functionality to remember, to realign, to reconnect with our potency, to use our true nature and capacity to make a change in our life and to manifest and realize ourselves. The illusion of just doing money in the way of uh, how the Fed is creating the, the game is very limited to what is possible. The principal way, to my opinion, getting out of this matrix, running out because you are generating a lot of loans and you want to win in this game that is about how much dollar you have and all this is about minimalizing. First of all, get rid from all what is not that necessary, for what not essential. And using a system that even a crypto is a sort of a system, but is already sort of bypassing the old structure system to get closer to what you are and to the supreme abilities that we have and that you have, that we all are trying to remember what I'm good at, what is my talent, what I can do, how, what will be happy, uh, how to find uh, people that will not be that complicated or drunk or stuck or malicious because people are so addicted down to the, to the earthy needs of having. I spoke already in August 2022, last year, when Uranus and the North Node just met in, in, in Taurus. This is a time of ascension right now. Just try to disconnect from all what energies that are pulling you down and that are going, it's energetically wise. It's start of realigning and new souls and young people, young consciousness together that's creating sort of separation, but in order for integration and in, in multiple dimension. So minimalism is very important and specifically when Jupiter is in Taurus, because this will leave us with the real diamonds, with a real value that is important and not with all the luxury and the jewelry that is like a gangster putting all those uh, things on him, but imaging him naked uh, or just with a minimum. It feels very insecure sometimes. So we are feeling secure with the things we hold outside and on the inside. And the real wealth, not about how many dollars you have under the floor or on the carpet, but how many private keys and how do you know the technologies and how to invent money with, with using the new concept. So it's the same with your energy, not how much to have things uh, in hand uh, in the city wise, but how much to use your energy to create as a magician uh, many life experiences. I know it's obstructive to many people, the generation that born in the beginning of the eighties, specifically 81, 82, 83, that born with Jupiter and Saturn in Libra, which was the first great conjunction in her sign. Now, when they are get smarter and, and experience in life and specifically with this Venus retrograde they, this year may lead us to create new bridges uh, for self-realization and business-wise, how we are doing project together. That's what I had to share with you. It's very cold here. Check the links below. I'm helping people to see markets months ahead. And it's not just about markets because when you see the markets, you also can estimate other ways of invest what is happening in the world combined with the other information you have. I'm not sure. Bye.